day to day. Everything's a day to day these days, inflation. Now they pulled a, a groin strain trying to get across it. Well, yeah, that was a bit of a stretch. Let me rip me kicks. Private road, no bikes or cars, but people are fine. Well, I'm in Dragon Country, Wales. I've not been here for two years, and I thought it was about time I got back here. So today, I'm on my way up to Malshubod. Just parked up in a little lay by for free, and crossed over a bridge, and basically taking a, a right, up, up, a private road, but obviously okay for walking up. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the Deer Do Ridge, a bit of scrambling, should be fun. So the weather's good, so we'll see how it goes. I know it's my path. I've already made a bit of a height in the first half mile. Uh, as you can see, the weather's pretty good, so hopefully get some good views. From the summit back to the coast. So that's comes where I first style and ship out all of the cottages. Let's look away, look around. He's starting to open up already. This one looks uh, quite easy compared to what I've been doing recently. Probably eat my words on that one though. So I'll just make my way up this uh, grassy uh, path. There's a couple of people just over there in the distance, about two, three hundred metres in front of me. You can see the uh, waste from the old pine workings over at the base of the uh, mountain. I'm not sure I'm going to be going around the back of it. Around the front of it, yeah. So we find out when I get all close. A bit muddy. to the first like, reservoir. So I've just come off the path a little bit because some really nice reflections of the surrounding hills and mountains in this uh, reservoir. So I'm really not to take advantage of that. Walking outside this uh, first 
bloody well after the reservoir. This is a bit of a flat bit, start climbing again soon. The sun's out, there's some dark clouds coming over. So I'm hoping that's some of the rain clouds. Just looking around. Stony path to follow. Just looking back on the uh, this reservoir. Oh, water body anyway. He was used to the old mine workings. Some good reflections on it in the sun. It's pretty calm. Oh, just leaving that first uh, big puddle behind, which you can see behind me, and uh, make me up this uh, stony path. Come up to a couple of old mining spiral heaps, or whatever you, the technical phrase for that is. I can see some out. Some old mining buildings, or the ruins of. I go and climb it, but I don't have any decent views from up there, so I'll not waste the energy. Just go around the side by this stony path. I like probably used those uh, uh, bits and bobs off there to make this path. It looks pretty much the same stuff. So there was an half decent view at the top of that spiral leap. See back down to the uh, body of water down there. I don't think it has a name. Just look around into some mining buildings. And oh no, there's people. So just looking around the old uh, mining buildings. You can see the building that we saw on the way up. I'm just kind of scooting around the back. leaving the old uh, mining building ruins behind. Carrying my way back up to Mount Shabbat. Took a bit of a detour, taking the mine, old mining building ruins. Photograph. A bit. Well, it looks a bit dark, dingy. So I'm going to leave black water behind. I don't know what it's called, but I'll call it black water. Still a bit to go yet. It's starting to look a bit overcast though. Hopefully, no rain. So I'll just pops over the black, the, the back of black water. See the uh, damned water down below. I wouldn't go too close to the edge, so I think uh, it might just not be solid ground. It's all been nice, easy paths up to now. 
but I'm guessing right in front of us is the ridge I'm going to be scrambling up it's a deer do everything's a deer, deer do these days inflation that's the clean coming into view now Normally looks like, but it doesn't look as though it's uh, very full to me. But it's called Clint Falls. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation. I'm sure, somebody will tell me if it's not. Tell me off in the comments. So there was a bit of a boggy section. We had to do a few long jumps and uh, rock hopping. But other than that, it's been not too bad up till now. Uh, back on a stony path. Oh, that's the ridge we're going to be going up. Ah, not too bad. There it goes. See how it goes, Dave. There's a bit of a dodgy buggy to sort of pick your way through. It. Yeah, they pulled a the groin strain trying to get across it. Yeah, that was, you know, was a bit of a stretch. Rather that than uh, getting full of mud. I think that's all the bog done now. Make our way up to uh, the ridge and the scrambling. So I'm making our scramble. Awesome. Just went over, over, and me ripped me kicks. Could have been worse. Could have been my leg. <laughs> Just taking a you know, this drop. I think you can see Ellesmere Port in the distance. You can see it looks like power stations. Oh my eyes, it's a bit dodgy. So now we're into the uh, scrambly sections. Like the rain mist is over there, it's really dark. <laughs> I think that's where it's going over to. So, looks like the uh, main bit of scrambling is in front of us. So, I could have gone, so there was a path around the back, I could have took. I think I was on that path, but I wanted uh, to do a bit of scrambling. So, so I was just about to tackle. So, I think it's going to be the main scrambling bit now. Sun's out again. I kind of hope it's not raining anyway for now. So hopefully it stays that way. That's what we've got left to do. And uh, that's where we come from, down there. Sun shining on the clean below. You can see for miles. Storm clouds over there though. Keep an eye out for them. If they come in any closer, I'll get a shifty on. Just uh, scrambling up a little bit, it's not too bad. It's going to be the uh, last bit of the scramble now. Just that bit of scramble to do now. We're at the top, looking around. I've just come up. 
to be doing the full down below. And storm cloud sort of burned off a bit. Up a bit. Here we are. And we've got the, the summit of Molsha Bottom. Sweep my ugly mushed mulch pod. Those last uh, bits of views of uh, Snowden. Down. You can see for miles straight to that little peak over there, and then uh, sort of make a, a left off, off there. And quite the view across the flatlands. See for absolute miles. I'm not sure this GoPro is going to pick it up too well, but I'm going to take some footage anyway. See a path down there, I think I might just go ahead towards that. Looking around. The ridge I've just been up, the Deirdre Ridge. And there uh, is the top of the Moshe Bar. And then Snowden is a uh, bit of cloud. Looking around to Snowden. People have trodden on the path. It's looking uh, pretty good all around. Great views. Awesome views all around, looking towards snow over there. Yeah. I can see the road below. 
obviously the care from here. And back on the path. Let's look at a bit of a detour. Oh, something's been drawing pictures in the sky. Still making my way down the winding path, all the way down. Still about a mile and a half, two miles from the car. Just dropping down the lower slopes now with the uh, Moshe bod. We're turning off towards me. You can where my car's parked through. Dropping into a, a wooded area now, which means we're not a million miles away from the car. Last bit of the uh, walk it's on this nice track just come out the woods it's, it's a nice track so, there's less than less than a mile to the car I don't know if you can see that flowing river with a waterfall going on near the main road now coming out the woods soon almost out the woods I've used that phrase before haven't I? <laughs> That's, that's me almost back in the car. It's about eight, eight and a quarter miles, uh, all Shabbat. Uh, just over 2,600 feet of climbing. So the one ticked off after a two year sabbatical.